Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general reading for October. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always, along with the information about what decks of cards I use in each video as I use lots of different decks in all the different videos I post throughout the month. So let's see here. Aquarius. Oh, we have the Akashic Library here. Okay, so I definitely see you um, maybe writing a letter to somebody here, um, studying very hard. Um, you may be studying other people's behavior in solitude. So you may be keeping yourself to, to yourself here, but um, maybe wanting to communicate with somebody. Um, so you're writing it down instead of communicating here. Um, maybe you're writing in a diary or something here um, with this card. But definitely here, I feel like, you know, you're just upping your knowledge game here, learning new things and really happy to do so. I don't th feel like, you know, you're miserable in solitude. I feel like you're quite happy and you'd rather talk to your diary than people at the moment. OK, so let's see intricacies and industry so again you may just be like looking up how things are made some of you could be watching that program um and interested in those sort of things um how things are made or looking at old buildings those sort of programs those sort of things i definitely feel like you know you're just learning a lot during this time and i feel like you're just happy it's like you're watching documentaries and things like that on your own um, how things are made and um, old ancient sites and that sort of thing. I don't know why that's coming up in a reading, but this is what's coming up. It's like, this is what you enjoy doing and you're doing it. Okay, so we have the waterfall here. So it may be an indication to why you're keeping yourself like blocked off, just at home, writing in your diary, Netflix and chill on your own, those documentaries in there. Maybe you feel like, if you was to communicate with um, the outside world, it's opening up these floodgates to, you know, emotions, dramas here, um, you know, things you just don't want to deal with that can be overwhelming at this time. I just feel like you just want that um, chill time where it's like dark outside, but, you know, cause the inside here um, by candlelight, by firelight here, you know, just really enjoying time on your own here. So let's see, let's get the rest of the cards here. But it definitely seems like somebody's watching documentaries on old buildings or, you know, like the seven wonders of the world and things like that. Maybe the pyramids here. And it's like the only person you talk to is your diary or something because you just don't want to open those floodgates at the moment with the waterfall there. Diving deep within to yourself. Ace of Cups here. Okay, so... There will be a love offer made here. Maybe that's why you're hiding away. You're just not interested in this, um, you know, but this as well as the waterfall, it's like somebody pouring their love out to you here. Both are overflowing with water here. Could be an indication of a water sign, but it's just like somebody's emotions overflowing. This could be you also at home. You may feel that, you know, as maybe as we move into Scorpio season, it's more watery. Um, maybe you start to overflow and start to feel a little bit emotional. Um, this could be somebody falling in love here as well. Um, there's just like an overflow of emotion here. If you feel like, you know, your cup's overflowing with love for yourself, it's quite possible you'll fall in love during... Um, October, the end part of October, somebody will make you a love offer. Queen of Pentacles, okay, could be an earth sign. You just may be about self-nurturing here. The Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing. Look at her, she's like holding on to all this food. It's very abundant, but it's also very healthy food and taking care of herself and um, nurturing herself. Um, and also working very hard for those pentacles, maybe even behind the scenes. You're not bragging about it. You're not telling everybody. You're just like, 
I'm going to focus on working hard. I don't need to talk to people about what I'm doing. It's like act broke and stack notes. This is what you seem to be doing. Like I'm minding my own business. That's it. I'm just in charge of me and I'm just focusing on me. If I want to say something, I'll say it to me. <laughs> you know, if I want to watch this documentary, I'll watch it with me. And I just feel like it's a lot of self-love going on, refilling, you know, your own ace of cups for yourself here. So I I see this as a positive, you know, um, really taking care of yourself. You may even want to get back to the gym or you may find yourself, you know, like wanting to focus on being more healthy, um, maybe even vegan here. You may just be interested in it um, at the moment. But it's a lot of self-love and self-protection going on here. So, yeah, I think it's okay. I think you should be, you know, loving yourself here, nurturing yourself. You know, you may have had it quite rough and that's why you need to just block off the world. Solitude is very important. Six of Swords. So... <clears throat> You could be moving home with this or traveling here um, with this seven of scrolls because there's a house in there as well. But it is, again, an indication of, you know, moving away from those um, extreme waters into calmer waters. And this is why, you know, it's just like cutting off the crazy, the drama and really looking after yourself, moving into a much more positive headspace here okay which is very good you just might be like it's me myself and i or just me and my kids here as there's a child in the boat so you just maybe like i'm moving out with my kids i'm just doing me you know and it shows that better times are ahead you're moving into a more smoother path during october here like i said it could be traveling somebody could be traveling towards you for love so if you have a connection who's overseas, um, they may be traveling towards you here as well. The Fool. So yeah, it's definitely like I am embarking on this journey on my own. I'm leaving on my own, you know, I'm going, okay? This could be as well for some like just travel and traveling on their own and experiencing life and things and just living in a more positive energy than before because you're moving out of troubled times, so you're feeling freer. So you could be leaving somebody behind for a new beginning here, okay? It could be an earth sign, but we do have water and air here also. But it definitely feels like, you know, I'm leaving all that crappy stuff behind. If I need to do it on my own, I will. You know, I will. Look, I'm a boss. I'll do it on my own. I need love, okay? I'm going to love myself. I need money, okay? I'm going to be my own boss. That's what sort of energy is going on here, moving into a positive frame of mind and taking the chance. OK, so it could be like either if you've been single a long time <clears throat> and you've already done this self nurturing, it's taking a chance on falling in love now. That's what you could be moving towards. OK, if you've already nurtured and love yourself and your cups full for yourself and overflowing, you could be moving towards falling in love meeting a new person here yeah the hermit so you know aquarius this whole reading screams hermit it screams alone it screams like you know self-care soul searching it's seeking information and knowledge here like i am mad at it it's just like do you? It's like, I do agree with this soul searching and seeking higher knowledge and spending time on your own can be very healing and very self-protective here. And that's what the reading feels like. So if you need this, go get it. This is you. This is what you're doing during October, you know? Um, it's like shining this light, shining this lamp here, like leading the way for other people here. We are in, um, you know, the age of Aquarius. So you guys are leading the way for us here. You're showing us, look, this is, this is how you go get that knowledge and go get it um, good. So it seems like during October, you're soul searching. You're looking for answers here and realizing that, you know, I'll get the answers from myself here. 
the wheel of fortune what did i say things are turning around for you guys if it's been rough and you've been in these troubled waters as we move into scorpio season out of libra season you're going to find this to be easier you know like when we go through cancer season and it's quite deep and like you feel like you're drowning i feel like this water season you guys are going to find it easier things are going to turn around for you it's going to you're going to be in a lot better place mentally, even physically. Um, you know, you're going to be feeling great. The Queen of Pentacles there, that's what sort of energy you're in. I'm focused. I'm making money. I'm all about self-care here. So it's good, you know. So we had the Eight of Cups jump out and the Chariot, okay. So they was reversed. So... Someone doesn't want you to leave them behind here, okay? So don't be surprised if somebody tries to halt your escape, your exit plan, you know, and they say, you know, come back, and you're like, I'm just leaving on my own. Don't be surprised if they try and stop this, okay? This doesn't mean because they're reversed that it won't happen. It means there may be delays with the chariot reversed, okay? So don't be... Um, don't get hung up on it because it's still coming. It's just there's some delays here, okay? I feel like it's somebody trying to hold you back because this Eight of Cups already makes me think of somebody who's reluctant to leave. They're still in the doorway. So this is like somebody holding you back here. So Major Arcana, when they're reversed, it just means delays. It doesn't mean that you won't have this move or something. So you may have been wanting to move house a little sooner. There may be delays. You may have wanted to buy a new car. There may be delays, okay? Maybe you wanted to buy a new car, but you've had to move house, so you had to delay the car. Things like that as an example. You know, somebody could be trying to stop you leaving, but I don't think it will. Like I say, it doesn't mean you won't leave. It means there could be delays, but it seems like with the fool, your heart's in it to go ahead and start again here. You know, you're going to jump on board with the wheel and, um, you know, ride this to the top. Like you're going to turn things around. You're going to feel better. The lovers. So it could be a love connection that tries to hold you back. But overall here, this is speaking of like this wonderful healing that you're going through. Okay. It does say that there is somebody out there. And again, you could be falling in love during October. Definitely like the watery season is, um, I don't know why you're going to be so good at it, but you just are. You may be a little slower than you like, but you're going to be really good during uh, Scorpio season here. It could be with Eight of Cups as well. Somebody wants to return, um, maybe a divine connection, but you would already know this, okay? There may be a delay in them coming back with the lovers there. Five of Pentacles. Okay, so it could be that money causes a delay with your plans, okay? Nothing major. This is something that you can overcome. So I wouldn't worry too much about it because worrying about it will just bring in more lack here with the Five of Pentacles. So somebody doesn't want to be left out in the cold so they could try ask you not to leave and things like that. Do what's best for you, because either way, it shows that you'll leave. It shows that you can only delay it a little bit, but eventually you'll leave. You know, you can only delay falling in love again for a little bit, but eventually you're going to fall in love again here, okay? Good luck, guys. <laughs>